My name is Ryan Manchi. I lead the digital innovations team at Centro. I've got just over 12 years of experience within the digital advertising and ad tech space. Uh, today, I'm gonna to talk to you about programmatic creative. So with all this access that we have, it's easy to get lost in the noise. It's true with the content that we're consuming, but it's even more true with the advertising that we have. Whether it's just banner blindness, people hitting a skip button, uh, closing out that interstitial, whatever it may be, people are doing that, they're not paying attention to these ads, and they're doing that because it's not interesting to them. It's not relevant. It's not personalized for them. And that's really the opportunity for marketers to be able to create these relevant experiences, these personalized experiences that truly connect with the consumer. This has to change, and it will change as marketers start to look at new ways of actually utilizing their advanced audience segmentation and the data that's available to them to create more programmatic creative. Creative that's really gonna connect with their consumers and have that more impactful experience. So this need for more personalized advertising, it's true for all generations, but particularly the millennials. There's a group of, an incredibly diverse group of nearly 80 million Americans between the ages of 15 and 35. And they've got an expectation, almost a requirement for personalized messaging to them. They want personalized ads. They want that authentic message from a brand. They want it to be relatable and they want it to be relevant contextually based upon what they're doing, where they're going, what their interests are. And that's the power of programmatic creative, being able to leverage that and pull that in, tap into those different data sources that are out there and really get smart about that unique, more personalized message. So with less than a third of ads, according to some studies, actually being relevant to consumers, uh, there's obviously a big opportunity for marketers to be able to take advantage of this uh, and create these more personalized messages. The good news is the technology's there. We're able to take advantage of that today. So there's three things that I think are important to keep in mind. Uh, for marketers as they look to create more personalized messaging, as they think about more real-time creative, programmatic creative, dynamic creative, whatever you want to call it. So the first, it's about creative, right? As much as we talk about the right time in the right place, we forget how important that right message is. So it's very important to keep those three concepts in mind, be able to really apply that for proper execution. The second, think small. As much as we talk about this idea of big data that's overwhelming for so many people, I encourage you to think small. Think about that small data that you have, that more personal information that you have, whether that's that CRM information that you've got there, that first party data, or maybe it's the third party data that you can easily have access to today. And how can you layer that in and create better experiences there? And the third, it's all about personalization right? How can you understand personalization across these different channels that are there? So think about video. How could you understand more about that contextual environment, the, the context of what somebody's actually viewing, that video that they're consuming? How could that add change? How could that be customized and personalized for the consumer? Or in a mobile environment, why not think about proximity and their proximity to that location, to that re retail store, and how they can really, really uh, create a, a deeper impact there. At the end of the day, it's about creating meaningful experiences with your customers through customization. 